<laughs> hey guys, Kathy Dryden here using the quick cooker again for our Tuesday night dinner. Stuffed Southwest potatoes. Now the recipe I shared earlier and I will add up in the top of this is for sweet potatoes, but I didn't have that so I just went with what I had, regular potatoes. I have done it with sweet potatoes, it's delicious. But I'm going to go ahead and get started because some people are getting a little hungry. And hop on as you um, do. Say hey. There are a couple of friends that I always miss. Um, and then when I hang up, I'm like, oh my goodness, you're watching. So say hey, and what are you having tonight for dinner? So a couple things that I've been doing is adding my menu. And um, so you can kind of see what my plan is. And that's to help you if you're kind of stuck in a, a meal rut, which we always seem to have the same things over and over. So I'm trying to get out of that rut. So tonight it's happening. Okay, so let me show you. Ignore my kitchen. <laughs> Ignore my kitchen. Okay, so I've got the fabulous quick cooker. It actually stopped four minutes ago. It counts up when it gets done. But I wanted to show you how it worked. I put it on the chicken. Whoa, horsey. Okay. Um, I put it on the chicken setting for 15 minutes, but what I did, you guys, um, let me release the pressure. So the pressure release is here, the steam's gonna come out there. I don't stop until this little red guy goes down. That way I know it's safe. Yeah, I know, my Diet Coke's over there, it's safe though. It's okay, nobody worry. Okay, so as it's releasing, what I decided to do is on the bottom layer of the quick cooker, I put my chicken because that's one of the ingredients and it has to be cooked ahead. Um, the recipe I'm gonna share that has the steps, actually did it in a microwave, in your rock crock cooker or if you have a deep covered baker um, and probably anything that you have can go in the microwave and you put your chicken first, I believe, and then your sweet potatoes at a separate point. This I did all together in my quick cooker because when you get the quick cooker, the little red thing just went down. When you get the quick cooker, you get a little metal rack and I'll show it to you. And so I did the chicken on the bottom, set the rack on top, and then did my potatoes on top to cook all at the same time. I'm very excited. Okay, so let's see. Now, if you've been live with me before, you know some things work and some things don't. And sometimes I get a surprise in there. Okay, so far so good. Let me stick this over here so I don't burn myself. Um, one of the things I've got to do is take the potatoes out. Uh, and let those cool because you know stuffed potatoes and I'm using our new little oven mitts or like little claws and I'm gonna do that you know oh look at that the skin just came off that's not good let me stick you um, in a different direction hang on hopefully you're not getting seasick let's do it this way okay that way I can use both hands with all the steps <gasps> how am I gonna do this you guys it came apart Woo! you know what that's okay. It's going to be fine. I'm still going to, it means the potatoes are totally cooked. In 15 minutes, you guys, I did the chicken and the potatoes. See this little rack? Okay, you do have to poke the potatoes to make sure they don't explode. Um, I think I'm going to make that part the bottom of my stuffed potato. Uh, so here's the chicken, and this rack comes with the quick cooker, okay? So you, if you do the ceramic bowl edition or accessories, this sits, that's what you sit this on. But this comes with it automatically, and I use it quite a bit um, to, I'm trying to where to put this guy. Okay, so the chicken, you guys, the chicken. So even though I know it's really cooked, I still always check it. We have a digital um, thermometer. And what I like about it is it tells me right here what the temperature needs to be. I don't have to ask Alexa. I don't have to do any of that. Uh, and it has a little probe. Now you can also, it's magnetic, so it'll stick on the outside of your oven or your grill. And it has a probe on a string. And, not a string, it's fireproof. And, um, you can watch it sits on the outside of your grill or oven while it's cooking the inside so it stays in there so I just stick it in the deepest part of the chicken it needs to be 165 and it's like 189 so I think we're safe the other cool thing you guys is I store this on my refrigerator so I check steaks, I do all the things. It's a really fun piece, and it's a great like housewarming gift or wedding gift, because um, people, you know, they like to check their chicken. All right, so what I did is I had four chicken breasts. I'm gonna use the salad choppers while I'm talking, because you know I gotta stay busy. Uh, and it wants you to chop the chicken that's cooked 
um, and mix it in with the stuffing ingredients, okay? So you wanna make your, sure your potatoes are nice and cooling. So I probably won't put it all together, but you'll get the idea. I topped this with chipotle seasoning. That's got a little kick to it. Uh, I just did a tablespoon and sprinkled it on top and it smells divine. I almost thought about putting onions and peppers in here too, but I was trying to stick to the recipe so whatever you saw, you go, okay, this is doable. But you guys, do you see me shredding my chicken with the salad choppers? I used these last night for the salsa chicken. We're getting a little chicken going this week. Um, Tomorrow's menu is actually one of our freezer meals called chicken sausage. You guys, chicken. Um, sausage with peppers. It's a really good dish, but it's a freezer meal. So I'll just stick it in here, uh, solid as a rock. I will push go and walk away and have a great, probably 30 minutes and not even think about it. And then uh, we will have chicken sausage peppers, uh, chicken sausage and peppers. So look at this, done. And the juice is from the chicken, but it's also, a, you always have to put liquid when you're cooking. And you guys all there, uh, when you put liquid in there, I just did chicken stock, you can do whatever you want. So this is what we're gonna add it to. Let me slide it out of the way. I'm gonna turn it off, because it's still hot. So in our kids' baking bowl, which I love as an adult, <laughs> um, you put a can of corn and I drained it in this bad boy. This is one of my favorites with the salad choppers. It's called the Easy Read Measuring Cup. And what I'm gonna use it for is to drain and rinse the black beans. So the ingredients are pretty Southwest feel and pretty easy. I mean, I always have black beans and corn in my pantry. So this isn't something I had to go get. And again, the original recipe has uh, sweet potatoes. But I love how you can change it up. And like my husband doesn't want chicken in his. He wants ground bison. So that's what he's going to get. The smooth edge can opener I went around using these chicken lips, grabbing the lid. And I love this because if I don't use the whole thing, I just put the lid back on, like for tomato paste. But look, it's not sharp. Not sharp, it's called a smooth edge can opener. That's why. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this over in my sink and rinse out my beans. You stare at that corn for a second. And hopefully you guys are having a good day. If you will comment what you're having, so maybe I can steal some of your dinner ideas. Last night, I think I had somebody, Diane had something spicy sounding. Okay, so here we go. All clean and rinse because I don't want my um, stuffing to have like that slimy black stuff that comes in there, right? Uh, yeah, don't want that. Okay, so that goes in there. Then we're also going to add, okay, hang on. Here's the picture I printed out. Um, we're going to do some more black beans. Okay, cilantro will come out from our garden and then we're gonna top and all the things. Okay, I think we're good. So the only other thing I think we're missing is cheese. And you know this girl has that taken care of. I always pre-shred the cheese um, because I don't like the pre-shredded. It is very, kind of has that powder, which is wood chippy. And you guys, seriously, it's not safe. So you add a cup of cheese so what I do is I meal prep my cheese. I know that sounds weird, but I get blocks, which is actually cheaper. And then I shred it all with our huge um, quick prepper grater. And then I put them in the prep bowls that have lids and put them in the freezer or the fridge. And so that's what I just did. All right, then we're gonna add the chicken. Okay, so you mix all this in here. The fun thing, you guys, is you can make it whatever flavor. If you have Tex-Mex seasoning, if you like Chipotle, we have a great Southwest rub. Um, and there's so many things you can do with this. You can add this chicken or this topping. You can make nachos. I was talking about that last night with the salsa chicken, but you could do that. I wouldn't complain. Look at this, you guys. Okay. 
I'm actually, I know that's not owl out. I'll get that in a minute. I'm actually gonna add some more seasoning, but I'm gonna add a different kind with this. Usually I try to stick to the same, but with it all being in the Mexican family, Southwest and Chipotle and Tex-Mex, I will say our Tex-Mex rub has, hey guys, has um, a little cinnamon kick to it, so I don't really blend it with these guys, but I do combine quite a bit my stuff. All right, so the reason I like, if you're left-handed or right, <laughs> our founder doors, Christopher's left-handed, so all of our products can be left-handed, users friendly or right-handed. You guys just mix all this up. It's gonna take couple minutes for my potato, but I, I'm gonna explain what the plan is. And I think you probably can figure it out if you've ever made twice baked potatoes or stuffed things. Same idea, it smells so good. Okay, so, all right, let me tell you the deets. Hang on, okay, I'm back. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my potatoes in half long ways, okay? So you're really gonna get four servings um, unless you want the whole potato, then it's two so two pieces, but it looks like four servings. I'm going to scoop out, guess what I found? I never have this, it's our scoop loop. I'm gonna scoop out the potato mixture, mix it in with the chicken and the corn and all the stuff, swirl it again, make sure it's mixed. I'm gonna leave a little bit of potato meat, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the white part to make it a sturdy little container. So I am gonna, because it looks like it's falling apart, um, that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scoop out that with my scoop loop, and uh, which is perfect, you know, okay, I just have to say, for cantaloupe and squash, you can make little squash boats. Um, okay, focus, focus. All right, so then I will put all this stuff back in, and then on my platter, I'll stick in the microwave just to melt the cheese on top, because you know I'm gonna add some extra cheese on top. It's gotta have cheese. Um, and this is what you can top it with when you're ready to serve. Chopped avocado, sour cream or Greek yogurt, um, a squirt of lime juice, and cilantro, and chopped tomatoes if you wanted to do that. And it's a really fun, different dinner to have on whatever weeknight. And you guys, it honestly doesn't take long if you have a pressure cooker uh, because you can do the meat and the potatoes together, okay? All right, couple commercial breaks because you know I have to share that too. Lots of things happen in June. It's double freebies month for our host. And um, it's just a great month to just have a fun Facebook party. I have themes that are summer, fresh and fun, grilling and chilling, or Mexican Fiesta. So if any of those themes sound good, you guys, I only have three spots left in June because it's such a crazy um, deal. Everybody's loving it. And it is June 22nd that week, and I have two spots on June 29th. So if either of those two dates work for you, message or comment below, message me privately to get you on the calendar. Um, they're fun. And if you're a host on here, hopefully you're gonna say you'd be skippy. It was super fun too. And the other thing I have going on is um, tonight is our look and learn. And if you're like, Kathy, I could totally do what you're doing. Yes, you can, trust me. I hate cooking, I hate it, but I love eating. So um, I just try to find ways to make it easier. And so if you think this is something you might be interested in earning some extra money as a side gig uh, over the summer, this is the time to do it, you guys. Our business is insane because people are home and cooking and um, have some extra time on their hands, I think. So let me know, look and learn tonight at 8.33. So message me or comment below. And if you'd like an invite, it's just a Facebook Live where I share all the deets behind the scenes and you ask questions if you have any. If you don't have any, that's fine too. And then we give away a prize at the end. It's all about the prize, I know. All right, you guys have a great Tuesday. Don't forget to comment. Nice seeing some cute names up there. Um, and hopefully you're having a great Tuesday. And again, share your dinner. I need to steal some ideas from you. All right, diddle you guys. Bye.